Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you this cool blending mode transition effect. So I've got two example clips on my timeline, one to the other in like the same scene and shots. And in order to create this transition, we're actually just going to use multiple layers and blending modes. So for example, if I have this first clip, clip A, going into clip B right now just by a, a standard cut, if I just duplicate this clip so I can hold option and just click and drag it out, that's a good shortcut to just duplicate selections. Or if I just had dragged the clip out from my project panel again or just copy and paste it. Basically, once I have the same clip on top of itself, what I want to do is go to the actual section where the cut happens right here. And I want to take a portion of this clip and just kind of put it in between this cut. Just a really brief amount. It's almost going to be like a flash that happens. So I have this little portion of the clip on top and you can select whatever bit of your clip you want if there's an interesting bit. And I just have it barely covering up the cut. And what I'm going to do is just change the blending mode of this clip on the second track in the effects control panel to something a little bit more interesting, such as difference or exclusion, or there's actually basically all of these can create their own custom transition. But for example, if I do difference and then press play, you see we have this little echo stutter flash that happens with the difference blending mode effect. And it looks really cool. So I don't want to keep it on for too long, but this is what it would look like a little bit longer. And although I'm using clip A to do this, you could do the same thing just by copying this clip B or the second clip, just kind of stutter blending mode effect, I'll call it. And instead of difference, let's see, there's other ones you could do like color burn. Here's what that would look like. We could do linear dodge. That'll give us like a flash transition that happens. That's really cool. Basically, each one of these sections will have their own unique ones that will create cool results such as this. So just in this simple blending mode stutter transition flash, you have a dozen different options that you could play around with. So if you enjoyed this little transition tutorial, definitely check out some of the other effect videos in my playlists. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube so you stay tuned for all my new videos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you over in the next one.